Welcome to this uh, tutorial. This is the first that I uh, ever made, and maybe this will be uh, the only one. I'm currently uh, working on a project, and for this project, I am developing a script, a script to make um, a, some kind of puzzle enigma into a platformer um, game. Uh, for information, uh, this project will be available into my each page. So if you uh, want to import the script into your own game, feel free to use it. And there will be uh, three parts of this tutorial. First part, I will play um, uh, to the Enigma. Second part, I will show you all the sprites that I use. And uh, last part, I will show you the script. And for that, I have here a little um, paper to resume all the thing I have to do and all the thing I have to know to, to script this uh, Enigma part of the game. Uh, let's start with a, a little trial. So this is the player and when you jump here you have this uh, little indication and we, if you put arrow uh, up you can go to the Enigma. So this is um, a simple Enigma with two uh, empty places to fulfill. The first empty place is blinking. I will um, press A and I will go. Um, I arrive to the um, inventory section with the item. The item are a letter and uh, you have to place letter into the empty place to complete a world but um, this is some uh, hidden um, letters. I will try to put this letter, so this item, into the, uh, the first empty place and as you can see the second empty place is blinking and you have to put, to press, sorry, A a second time and as you can see here uh, the selected uh, first uh, item uh, has disappeared and this is a blank area but the other letter are um, already selectable so I can uh, choose this one and no, the combination is um, not good so I come back here this is automatic uh, when you uh, try again you can see that there is um, no item at all so you have to do the same thing and I will resolve the enigma with this uh, two letters and with the two letters Usually there is music, but I didn't put any music here. And the door open. Um, we're gonna stay here for this moment and um, we're gonna go into the sprite section to see uh, what sprite I used. Uh, the first sprite I want to show you, this is the letter of the inventory, so the item used into the inventory. As you can see there is four direction of this item because I use the direction to uh, manage the animation part of um, the item. When the item is on the right, there is all th um, this is an unselected item, and when the item is in uh, the left, the item becomes selected, and it, there is um, a white um, area. There is another uh, sprite that I want to show you. This is this one. Uh, it's called Pierre Vide, which means uh, empty stone, but I, I can um, say empty place. This is the empty place of the uh, enigma that you have to uh, resolve. So there is only one fixed direction, and this is an animation. This is difficult to um, see here, but maybe I can show you the sprite moving. So now let's begin the scripting uh, method. Um, I have three scripts which run, uh, some, some of them run once, some of them run in loop. Um, it's uh, quite the same uh, kind of script in uh, the two canvas for Enigma and for Inventory. But before that I want to show you my method to uh, resolve all the script uh, issues or uh, script, uh, you know, um, uh, challenge. First of all I have to uh, know the purpose of the script. So this is a puzzle Enigma. 
and I have to know the thing to do into this um, script to uh, win the script to resolve it. So I have to res remove item from this from the inventory uh, and put them into the Enigma. And I have to do that twice. And I have to uh, put the good items into the good empty place to resolve the Enigma. So I uh, will have to develop some um, part of my script, will have to be scripted buttons to uh, navigate into the inventory, to have some circulation between each item, scripted step, to know uh, which empty place is selected, because the selection is uh, automatic, uh, animation checking, to know if uh, an item has been found into the in uh, in the game to be put into the inventory, and if the item is selected, already selected into the Enigma a memory system to um, store a variable between the two canvas and to um, call them um, precisely for animation checking and. Um, Obviously, a good or bad ending uh, if I put a good letter into a good uh, place. And the living button, which is very important because my living button um, disable or uh, put at zero all the variables. Um, in the Enigma part, what I have to do, I have to navigate uh, principally into the inventory, so there is nothing to do really because I just have to press A or B. Uh, but I have to know which item uh, is already selected and in which empty place the item has been selected. Uh, this is really important. And uh, other thing, the third thing important is that uh, if the item has been placed um, into the good or, or uh, the bad, uh, the wrong, you know, sorry, uh, empty place. So, And into the inventory it's a um, little more difficult because uh, I have to select the item, so I have to uh, put some uh, script into the, the left or right buttons. I have to uh, know if the item uh, is owned uh, into uh, the inventory, so uh, if the item has been found by the player and if the item is already used into uh, the Enigma. Uh, and I have to, to know the position of the cursor, which kind of empty place I have to fulfill, because I cannot fulfill twice uh, the same empty place. Now uh, let's start uh, with the variables. This is very the, the main core of uh, the script is to put some variables into some values. And uh, uh, for this um, script I use um, flag variables, which are very um, versatile, you know, very useful um, when you have um, a lot of um, items and a lot of animation or thing to do with uh, the items. Basically, this is um, like a bunch of bits to make two bytes. So in French, it's called octet because there is eight bits in one byte, and each of uh, the bits could be put in false or true and uh, it, uh, they, they uh, define the, um, the, the behavior of um, each of your item. So the flag, uh, the flag items are lettres sac trouvé and lettres sac utilisé. Lettres sac trouvé know if the item has been found and lettres sac utilisé knows if the item has been um, found and um, if uh, it's already used into the Enigma. And uh, this is for um, the items and for the empty place, so the place where the uh, items belong, you have Declencheur Lettre Enigma, um, which allows the empty place uh, to, to be uh, fulfilled by a selected item. It's very important. Uh, when, um, when the flag is uh, up, so it's true, you can um, put um, an item, and when the flag is a down, so false, the item is already put, put and um, it will call a special script to uh, remember what item, which kind of item has been placed uh, in uh, which kind of empty place. 
for verrouillage letter X, uh, it is to um, lock the item selected into the empty place, and the general uh, variable is just to uh, have some uh, navigation between um, items here or um, empty place here. So uh, basically, uh, when I came here, the only thing I, I can do is uh, to um, press A, so the A script is stored into an update script, so it could, it could run at any time, and I will uh, push the, stand, the scene to stack, because I have to use this inventory section to other enigmas independently and I don't want to, 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 to make an inventory for each enigma canvas. I, I want many enigmas but one, one inventory uh, canvas. So I store, I go to the inventory and there I can navigate with the arrow, with the script and uh, there is uh, an animation uh, script on the init uh, inventory uh, script uh, place where I ask for the variable if the letter, if the item has been found and if the item is already used and if the item is already used I uh, put the animation to uh, uh, no item and uh, if the item has been found but is not used, I put the, it the item to um, the animation sprite items to item not used and present into the inventory. And I do that for um, all the inventory, so this is a, a lot of um, if input. Uh, into this actor, I have the an update uh, script. Sorry, and uh, this is a switch uh, switch method. So uh, each time I press uh, arrows, uh, left or right, I change the number of the variable menu Pierre uh, with uh, the switch um, uh, input. I can uh, scan uh, every value, and um, for each value there is an item, and for each uh, value I um, check if the item is well um, well appear, uh, and if the item could be selected or not. And for the uh, animation letter, you can see that I put the um, uh, concerned uh, item into the left, but if I put it into the right, there is no uh, no item, no no sprite at all. So this is the thing that I uh, described it uh, before with the item. The, the the item are in four direction, but I use the left and right direction to to make the animation part easier. And there is there is um, the part, and you can. Uh, uh, select the letter, so is the, the item. Sorry, so if the item is already selected, uh, I attach a script which is uh, empty because I cannot use the letter the, the, the item. But if this is false, so if there is no um, the, the item is not used, I can use it. And if I use it, um, I have to know uh, where it will be. Um, placed into the Enigma part, and this is the part, uh, if the variable menu enigma is to zero, I put a flag into Declencher Letter Enigma, and I put the flag one, because the variable is to zero, and this is allow me here to put a letter into the empty place. And I do that for each of the empty place I want to fulfill. Uh, for example, there is three here, so I can have a, max, a maximum of three empty place to fulfill, but in this Enigma canvas I have only two to fulfill. And after that I restore the previous scene, so if I uh, select a letter, it automatically uh, came back to the Enigma part. And in the Enigma part, the really main core of the script is the on init. Uh, script of Enigma because uh, in this I can um, ask for the variable if they are well on yeah, uh, true or false and if it's true here I will um, change every um, for every item I will ask if it's selected or not I will change the animation sprite from uh, empty place to letter and 
to uh, remember the letter because when I g uh, do the first, I I um, I go uh, f to the second. Uh, I have a special script here. I clear the flag of um, the first, uh, for example, the first empty place. So it could be it couldn't be um, um, asked. Uh, called at the other time, but I increment the variable menu enigma, which means that when I will come back here, the menu enigma will be in one, and in one that will be the flag two of the clusher training, uh, which will be um, uh, put it on on true, and that's the reason why this will be the second empty place, uh, which will be. Um, uh, completed and not the first, but to remember that there is already a letter into the first, I will put this uh, flag, the verrouillage letter, uh, which um, lock uh, the current letter selected into this um, uh, part of the script. So if the letter is already selected, this is on false, so on to on to, uh, 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 zero, like here, and um, uh, this is this part of the script which is called, and this, this part of the, the script just um, check which kind of letter has been used to uh, the uh, empty place uh, concerned. And at the end, um, some of uh, the if input has another um, incrementation. This is enigma letter bonne combi, which is a, a variable to uh, know if there is a good uh, item into the good empty place. And you come back here and you can see if the door uh, will open or not. So um, that's all. Remember that you can uh, download uh, this um, uh, project into my each uh, page and I will let the, this document into the project. Uh, so thank you for watching and uh, if you have any question you can ask in commentary.